so sad to inform you guys, guys, that we might have to say a possible rest in peace to the note. And um, y'all know me, BG Tech Life. I done had all the notes. The note has been I a phone, a device that I done fell in love with. Uh, I done had every note since the Note 3. I never had the OG Note, but from the Note 3 on, I've been in love. Love these devices. Utilize these devices. These devices done powered my channel. Um, these devices done always kept me curious about technology. But yeah, this is my Note 20 Ultra. But they saying next year that the S, uh, the S line probably gonna come with an S Pen, and they're gonna have some S Pens for the foldable devices. So with that being said, man, um, this is a big rest in peace, possibly to the Note. I love the Note. That's been my favorite device. In many of my videos, you'll hear me say, if I could have one device, if I could only have one device. It definitely will be a Galaxy Note. So me myself, um, I was kind of hoping it wasn't true. Kind of at a loss for words. What's going to be my next favorite go-to must-have device? Um, I do pick up a lot of devices, but it's not. It's I don't feel that need to pick those devices up. Like I feel the need. The Note is something that's just automatic that I have to have. YouTube, no YouTube, whatever. But um, moving on, so it's like, if this does happen, should I get a foldable? Should I Should I just, you know, should I just rock with the S-Line? I do rock with the S-Line, y'all, but it's just something about, with them ending this name, the note, you know, it just meant a lot to me. And I had a lot of notes that I really love. It bring back the old feelings when I had to send my Note 7 back. So, I don't know, guys. I mean, um, it's... You know, it's still I me. Mean, it's all Samsung, and of course, the S line is close to the Note and stuff like that. But I just like that. I would, I would rather them in the Galaxy S and just make all Notes, cause the Note just will always be the big boy to me. But you know, possible rest in peace to the Note, guys. Let's go ahead and get into the video. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? It's your man, BG Tech Life, and I'm just bringing y'all an update on what's on my Note 20 Ultra, my big boy, the uh, phone with the scratches on the screen that I bang up and I'm utilizing on the daily, on the regular. So I'm just going to update y'all what's on the device and how I'm rocking, because my first what's on the device, I still had a uh, touch whiz on here. It's, it's Nova now, just letting y'all know. But um, before we get into that, Let's, this is how I walk around with my note, guys. As you can see, I got the Nimbus 9 Phantom 2. Like, I don't be capping when it comes to these uh, cases that I tell y'all about. As you can see, Nimbus 9 Phantom 2 with the real sense buttons. Um, definitely one of my favorite TPU cases to walk around with. Offer some protection, offer a nice little uh, protection around this big old camera hump. And um, this little guy in the middle, I actually, I don't even remember the brand of this. I don't even know. I remember I picked this up in like Marshalls or Ross. It was just something that I seen and it was actually on my Note 9. I had a Nimbus 9 case on my Note 9 and I found this thing and I put it on the back. And you know that Nimbus, that uh, Note 9 was like blue with the yellow S pen. So with like blue and gold type deal kind of went together. And um, I always just like this. This is like a little finger thing. You use it as a kickstand. But I don't even know what company this came from. It was just by itself in a little, you know, it just came by itself. You just stuck it to the back of your phone. And it's been so cool that I done ordered just a uh, pop socket 3M tape for it. Just when I got a, like my next note or uh, rest in peace. Not my next note, but, you know, the next time I rock a phone like this, I can just take it off here and stick it to another phone with a number nine case but um yeah so that's how i'm rocking uh, around the house i do throw the out of box on sometimes when i'm in the streets but mostly it's gonna be my numbers nine case and this little uh finger thinger majiggy it's the skull it's a kickstand it look pretty cool to me i like it so yeah shout out to numbers nine shout out to whoever if y'all know where they uh a link to this is or anybody ever seen this old link just let me know, man. Send me a link to this thing, man. But yeah, 
So that's how we sparkling it off. As you can see, I got the always on display. Typical clock with the uh, gold in it. That kind of go with the little gold skull on the back of my device or whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the phone with the end display, fingerprint scanner, boom. So as you can see, I'm gonna pull up my S Pen on this one. And you uh, know, show the S Pen some love, man. All right, so as you can see, this is my home screen, guys. Um, I have, normally I would have my apps, uh, just I would have these main apps on the dock and then the roller apps above it. But I seen it somewhere where I liked it and just put this nine, this three by three setup of apps right in the middle of the screen. I think it, look, I think it looks good. Um, I actually got, let me turn the screen down some guys so you guys can see a little better. But um, I actually got this wallpaper from an app called Zedge, if you like it with the Lamborghini, the Lamborghini with the airplane in the background. You know, I like all stuff. I like cars and stuff that make you look like a baller, even though I ain't got money like that. Shout out to Lucky's Wheels and Deals. But um, yeah, so just the basic, some basic apps where I'm, that I'm always utilizing. Um, as you can see, my Instagram, BG underscore tech life, you go follow me. My Twitter, BG underscore tech life, you go follow me. And my Facebook, BG Tech Life on Facebook. Go follow the Facebook page, guys. Um, as you can see, YouTube, YouTube Studio for my analytics. Us YouTubers, y'all YouTubers know what I'm talking about. YouTube Music, big on YouTube Music. Um, Netflix, Best Buy has been real big, you know. Shout out to Best Buy. That's why I was able to get my iPhone 12 Pro Max uh, on Black Friday. Tried to do a little curbside. Couldn't do exactly a curbside. Had to go inside, but... I still end up with the phone, so you know the deal. Um, and the Play Store to download different apps, things of that nature. So this is my setup, and um, let me breeze past my, hold on, let me breeze past my email, make sure ain't nothing. Okay, breeze past my email real quick, guys. Um, this is my email client. Got a big email widget right here for you guys. So that's just make it easy for me to just see my primary email, swipe over, big nice look at my email. Then you slide over once again, and I got a map. And I mean, not a map, I'm tripping. Oh, a calendar. So I keep up with days and days, things like that. It's not the super calendar where you can see my appointments and things of that nature. I just like how this looks with the wallpaper. I just think it's a dope look. Now, um, as you can see, that's a, a, a app called the Month Calendar Widget. But, but let's go back home, guys. Let's talk about my home screen. So um, I basically got this thing set up like a pixel. As you can see, I got the uh, Google uh, Calendar Date Type Widget at the top. And I have at the bottom, I got like a dock set up, but still the touch capacitive buttons on the screen. Old school, guys. I got the basically kind of got like a pixel set up. Then, um, normally what I would have, what I don't have on this phone right now, what I don't have installed is my Google Companion. Um, so that's something where I could swipe to the right and um, you will see actually like on a pixel, the Google Companion. I don't have that set up. Um, I don't know why I set that up prior to this video. I will set that up, guys. So, okay, so boom, we have talked about my home screen and how I got that set up in the case things of that nature so we're gonna swipe up guys and just do a little app talk so um i'm not gonna talk about all these apps y'all know you know y'all know the drill man y'all know the drill on a lot of these apps so we got amazon for shopping you know that's where you know we get a lot of everything amazon everybody know about amazon adobe filling sign that's dope with this s pen you make your own signature Sign documents through the email, feel like a baller, Best Buy shopping, uh, auto trader car shopping. Um, we're not gonna get in car max, use car shopping. You know, I don't buy nothing new, I don't buy no new cars. Cash app, that's the new, you know, that's the new movement for the bank to send out the loan, the, the pay, repay the debts or the bets or whatever you got going on. That's lit. Um, CSR racing. A big game that I love to play a lot. That's lit. It's like a drag racing game. Be on that feeling like Dunk Master or somebody. You got DocuSign. That's another document signing uh, 
app, you can send somebody some documents through the email and have them send uh, send the documents back, sign and stuff. But like lawyers and things of that nature, guys. Um, big thing right now, if you're not feeling that well, but you, you know, it's not a serious condition or something, you can do an e-visit. This med star e-visit, you can just sign on and basically FaceTime with a doctor. Um, you know, a lot right now with just common regular stuff sometimes you might not want to be at the hospital so you know that that's pretty that comes in handy guys you know what i mean find my device that's pretty dope guys um find your device is just or oh, i device sign into your google account it's under here you can find you can locate you can make it play sounds as long as it's charged up so not a whole bunch on here guys hulu x Xbox Game Pass. I played that a little bit, but I, I'm really on that Call of Duty, so I'm not really on that, that heavy intro maker. Intro maker, guys, you can make some dope intros. Hulu, you can uh, watch some content and shot. I really, uh, I, I edit some videos with this app. Not like, for, not my YouTube videos, but like if I want to put something on, let's say I wanted to retweet your video or something like that, I might screen record it and clean it up on InShot. Uh, Facebook Messenger, no crop. This will make it take a picture and blur the background of a picture that's not a square, make it into a square so you can post it on uh, Instagram, stuff like that. So this is the uh, Nova launch and stuff. And this is the Google Companion that I didn't set up that I was talking about. Also, uh, offer up, guys. Offer up is pretty dope. You can sell things, you can buy things, pre owned or whatever, things of that nature. So, this last one, Pandora, PayPal, is really nothing on this page that you guys don't know about. Speed test, Stadia, things of that nature. Speed test, just test the speeds of your network so you can test how fast your network is or how fast your Wi-Fi is or your cellular data is. If you need to know the speeds and what's getting better speeds. Twitter, we definitely on Twitter. Like I said, BG underscore Tech Life. Telegram, um... Definitely on Telegram, guys. Gotta check that out. Um, it's just a messenger that, you know, you, everybody's on there. A lot of my, the tech community. Team 100 actually got a tech community on there. If you want to join the tech community, let me know. Hit me up in the comment section on Instagram, on Twitter, whatever. Um, also, just, yeah, basically, guys, the same thing. Zedge, dope wallpapers, um, ringtones, if you're still into them and all that type of stuff. But we just keeping it short. I'm just basically wanted to show y'all my upgraded setup, my Nova launcher setup, and just wanted to show the notes some love, man, because I feel some type of way about them talking about uh, no note in 2021. Let me find out. They, no, 2020 killed the note also, man. 2020, you vicious, man. It's your man, BG Tech Life. Thanks for watching. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.